It is the 10th of February 2015, 2.38am UK time, I'm in the UK, a town called Banbury, my name is Stephen, and this video is a purely mainly for my own records of my thoughts and understandings. Um, so anything I say should not be used against me as as any intent. Just my thoughts aloud. I wasn't necessarily going to pick a subject but um, the urge to make a video has been brewing I guess I think of things and I have and I make newer understandings or raise extra questions and putting them on video is just a nice way to to, uh, to get them down on paper but without having to write because writing is writing slower and you can't get as much done also you know I can talk now for two hours potentially I've made myself a coffee the first coffee I've had in weeks. Not being on green tea, which I believe does have a bit of caffeine. But anyway, um, yeah. So I've just been watching. the uh, YouTube as usual and when I have long gaps I'm gonna say to myself you know you talk and things come up it takes a while to warm up and then things just flow and I'm having gaps because you know I just wanna relax basically and not think about anyone else who's watching it and what they think of me. Which is weird then, why am I saying all this? Everyone is just a person at the end of the day. Every human is equal. Potentially, anyway, the soul, all our souls are equal, equal in hierarchy, apart from God, but some have grown in love more, that's how your soul grows. In love, your capacity to love. And what's been on my mind lately a lot is war. And also the potentiality that I maybe have to pick a side at some point. kind of maintained in my mind that I won't pick up a gun or a sword and that I will pick a side and that side will have my back in. Now if you go back to my YouTube <laughs> 
history of videos. It started with one saying we need a new world order. And this was before I'd heard of the new world order. I thought I was saying something new. And just saying basically the pollution and stuff, you know, what we're doing to the world. And that still stands. But I have drifted away from that. I went over to Nibiru. And then, you know, and then wondering if this stuff is going on with the sun, you know, whether it is all caused to what we're doing to the earth. And I've, and I've, you know, I've always been with God, but my conception of God did change after hearing about A.J. Miller. And because before then in my videos, I was always just arguing people, why are you always going on about Jesus? Surely we should be talking about God. And thankfully, A.J. Miller agrees. <laughs> and finding that truth was just awesome. And seeing that our souls are so much more powerful than we understand. And so powerful in fact that this could be our souls affecting the planet. I wasn't intending to talk about that. So, you know, I've been on a journey of exploration and this is how I've armed myself. I remember quite a few years back, you know, I've been feeling like we're heading for trouble for a while. I think I was meditating. And I saw like a rank of people sort of sitting in seats like you'd find in the House of Commons, but it wasn't, it was more medieval. Like wise men all had big beards and stuff and smart outfits. And then this old guy sort of saying, what do you want to learn sort of thing. And, he, and I wasn't sure, but so maybe in my mind, maybe sword fighting was something and he and he showed off a few sort of moves. But then he said, you know, this isn't what you want to know. The power of the mind. That's what you want to know. And, you know, so my search for truth was was that. And since hearing A.J. Miller's teachings of what we are, a physical body, created by our parents with the help of God, a spiritual body, created by our parents with the help of God, and a soul, created by God. Uh, I'm going to lose my track. What was I saying? Oh yeah, power of the mind. And so <laughs> the brain in the physical body is just a squishy brain thing to control all the physical parts of our body. The intellect is our spiritual body's brain. And, well, that's how I'm seeing it anyway. And I like that because when I'm in a dream... I'm experiencing through the dream, right? No, sorry, the intellect. No, we're the same... No. Well... <laughs> oh. Getting confused. So I'm just confusing everybody. The spiritual body has arms and legs and everything, and it looks similar to what we look like in our physical body. Um... So when you talk in your head, you are effectively talking with your spiritual body. 
And so if there's a spirit there, which there will be, the spirit will hear what you're saying in your head. Because that's your spiritual body talking. So, the, but the mind, the intellect, is in the soul. So, but you talking in your head and voices in your head would probably be from other spirits and your own voice. And you may have facades, so you may have different voices which are still your own in your head. You know, we can act in different ways, can't we? And it's all this is all real. So, you know, before I knew those truths, thinking about all this was just really confusing. But then you think about the intellect and the soul, and if you do the soul sort of that shape, it's a demonstration of the intellect, mind part of the soul is at the top, and is the smallest organ of the soul. Then you have an organ sort of this area, which is bigger than the intellect, which is humility. And you can practice this, and you can feel it. You can feel when your mind, intellect is engaged. So that's where all your belief systems come from. The soul holds belief systems. So you can hold the wrong truth, and you will feel like you know that's the truth. Yet because it is wrong, when you expand on it, and when you look into the face of eternity, infinity, it will scare you senseless, and you'll have to turn away, because you're holding a wrong truth in your belief system. carry on with the soul. So then it gets to the biggest part of the soul which is the heart. Now this is your capacity to love and you can feel this too. You can feel it from others and you can feel it from God. But to feel it from God you must have the correct belief system in your intellect. You must have the humility and then for your heart to be open. And down at the bottom is some emotions that are that are undone, that are, you know, still due to come out, suppressed emotions, and affection somewhere at the soul as well. I'm not quite sure on the rest of it, but those three main parts to be able to conceive that and then when I'm meditating and then I start feeling it and I just have to shut my head up I kind of get into it through my thoughts and through yeah yearning for God that is essential and then you can just start feeling and whatever comes up will be the thing you need to deal with so I'm really, so for the first time, you know, exploring truth, going through all that history of YouTube, thinking about Nibiru all the time, and you know, whether that there is some truth in that or not, it still seems, evidence towards it seems quite um, compelling to think it's true. But whether it's true or not, I'm really seeing something which works. And when you have these feelings... You're, you just know that there's nothing else in life that you could be doing right at that there and then that would be better for you. Because you know, because you're feeling it, and the soul can feel infinity and eternity, it's comfortable with that. The soul is quite comfortable when you're feeling that. It has no issues with it. The mind is tripped out by it. Can't make sense of the infinity or living for eternity. The soul can. And yeah, so you know you're you're undoing 
things which you've suppressed which is harming you constantly building up harming you even more and you, you're getting rid of these you're just letting these emotions go and while you're doing it God is encouraging you obviously this is why believing in God the parent makes this so different to just meditating and thinking of a tree or something you know you actually get God's assistance <laughs> and those who feels it knows it so like I say I'm not asking for any arguments about this you can if you want but and you know I I think I could help people get to the point where they could start to feel but I think it's there anyway it's God's plan you you will be able to like I say if there's any fear it's most likely a, a truth that is is held in you that is wrong and the biggest one would be about God that God is a revengeful angry God you know in the Bible it's not always God in fact I think it's only God in the first few pages then it's other spirits who have had power to influence it just makes more sense we're in a playground of an eternal life well, this, I mean a playground because we're in the nursery. We're newborns. Don't ask me. <laughs> the whole system. <sighs> we're only in the beginning. So I could give you my interpretation of what the entire thing is like. And at some point, you know, you're going to come to a decision. And you have to choose to love. Because the feelings can get so intense. You need love. You need to make that choice to love. But it has to be your choice. And look, we've been making the choice not to love most of our lives and that leads everybody in a downward a downward way <laughs> some people leave successful lives in the sense that they you know get to 60 70 years old and they're still pretty happy and they got energy and because they led a loving life <clears throat> so what back to war one of the reasons I decided I was going to stay up tonight is because I had the feeling that um, it's going to be few of our leaders staying up tonight talking um, I think Putin's just visited Cairo that's interesting There's big arms deals going on hints that the USA might arm um, might provide weapons for Western Ukraine, which is now it's like civil war, and everything's looking like Russia and America, um, and with Europe sort of with America, you 
Russia's just had talks with China and India. And now it's going to Cairo. Prince Charles has gone to Saudi Arabia. And there was one thing I think we can be certain of when dealing with the quite accept, accepted and known um, dark forces on the earth which have been manipulating us. Think of us as cattle, as plebs, do not care about us, love wars, Is there such a thing or is there just people? No, I think there's there's been trickery going on. And it was one thing that has been constant in my YouTube videos in the sense that I've I haven't said it for a while, but that the trickery would come. Now can we really see a war between Russia and America? And Europe? Over what? Resources? See now the powers that be, they love raping the earth of all her resources and both in America and Russia and Europe are brilliant at that I don't know much about China they just executed someone and they banned they seized some toilet paper with, with the leader of Hong Kong on it. So you like you're wiping your ass on the leader. I mean they're pretty oppressive, aren't they? So I think for the powers that be, all of those countries are doing exactly what they want. I mean, China is the production house. And they're friendly with Russia. We're dependent on Europe and America. I mean, over the Ukraine, you know, the half of them are Russian people, I mean... I don't think it's enough to go fucking full-scale nuclear war, is it? It's not really a big enough issue. But things escalate. You know, in the... I mean, I just watched a, a like a two-hour documentary on Afghanistan, and I didn't know this, but they, you know, it stated it quite clearly that when the British went in there this last time, they made a huge cock-up. They scared off the Taliban when they got in. Taliban ran to the hills. Then they go and put people in power who were the like the warlords before who were corrupt as fuck. 
And that's why it just... And then, because the people saw that the British were with these, and then they had their own police who were like armed militia, basically. And the people saw that the British were with them, so they started attacking the British. And then the British fired back, thinking anyone who attacks us a Taliban. They didn't know, they couldn't distinguish between Taliban or not. Well, I hadn't seen any Taliban, let's get them off. So then when that was happening, the Taliban started fighting back. And the British are hated there anyway, from the past. But, you know, what a stupid cock-up to make. Is it really true that a nation that has GCHQ and... MI5 and MI6 and intelligence agency and massive defence unit army, you know, with a long history. <laughs> you know, I, I've been in, not in the British army, I was a year in the Norwegian army. And they know how to do things. And you get taught. This knowledge does not go outside. I mean, people might tell their friends and stuff. But that is knowledge which is being kept, you know. You learn, you learn, I learned a lot. And the British Army, and, and think, you know, I just learned what I needed to know. So, you know, the knowledge is vast. And the British one was gonna is gonna be massive. You know, they do not make cock ups like that. And then stick to them for so long. And then when they're being even when they're being told, you know, by now it's too late and <laughs> no, it ain't right. So, there's a power that be that wants... wants all this fighting. And with the superior weapons, you know, and the bombs and everything, then the, then the death toll is very much outweighed, you know. We've got so, so many hundred British people who died, which is bad, but probably compared to thousands of Afghanis who died, women and children alike. How sick is that? This is premeditated murder on a grand scale. It's just, it's still murder, just because we declare war. Yeah, and then, you see, I was re I've been reading the Gita, the, um, the Hindu thing. And it's Krishna. Krishna is supposed to be God in a body. And says, oh, yeah, every thousand years or so when... When um, things are taking a turn for the worse on the earth, I come down in, in a body. And so he's given advice to this guy who's being felt like he's being forced to, to fight. And fight with his cousins and stuff and have this big war. And he's, you know, he's like, you know, surely there's, you know, your God, surely there's a, a loving way to deal with this. And Krishna's like, no, you know, when it comes down to holy war, basically, I mean, I'm paraphrasing massively, then then it's right to fight. So I was, so I've been thinking about that. But he does say that the fact that Arjuna was trained as a warrior and is equipped with the arms of a warrior that that's what he should do. So, you know, 
I believe in God. And for years now, I, I, I've seen that I didn't like the way the world was going. For me, one of my greatest desires is to swim in fresh lakes and rivers. That, that to me is like, you know, I've been heaven, basically, camping out next to a beautiful fresh lake. And I looked for them, and I found the best ones in Norway. And I've swam in some pretty shitty lakes, <laughs> some pretty polluted ones around here. It's all polluted now, and that pisses me off. And. When I was 18, I, ran, I, I went and had a go at my dad, and I was saying, the world's going to shit, what did you ever do about it? He got really angry. But I don't want my son to say that to me, especially now that I know how I felt. Probably my dad just never even gave it a thought, because when he grew up, everything was sweet. But no, so, you know, that pisses me off, and you know, I get pissed off when I hear about that animals and people living like shit. There's a lot to get pissed off about. Amazing, man. And who is the, who is to blame? You know, are we, we're probably all, we all have a level of blame. But there seem to be a force who are willing us in that way. Maybe it's just a spiritual force. Maybe that was the cause of it. A particular dark spirit. But then you can only have dark spirits attached to you if you have those same emotions. But then we were going to, because all, <coughs> all these scars and emotions get carried on and get feel them when we're babies and we go through the terrible twos and have those tantrums because that's when... We have our fight with God when we leave God. We start leaving God. And most of us, the way we live, we get further and further away. So, I mean, if you don't believe in God now, you're going to soon, I believe. Maybe you won't. Maybe some people just never will. They just won't go that way. Well, I can't say never. Maybe a million years. <laughs> I wouldn't want it, you know, I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. So this ISIS, I've watched, there's a really good YouTube bit channel called Vice News and they really get inside and they give you subtitles rather than voiceovers, which I prefer because you can hear the person speaking and it's really good journalism, really good. And they they had ISIS, the ISIS in Iraq, I think it was. But yeah, this um, Islamic State, you know, I saw a map earlier, there's uh, 12, 12 um, areas around the world, and potentially more, but 12 where there are specific leaders, and Boko Haram. And there's another one, another even bigger one in Africa, Mohoroja or something like that. The Philippines guy. Um, there's another one in over there near Malaysia. 
There's some in, I think it was Tunisia and Libya. Um, there's obviously the ones in Yemen. I think that's Al Qaeda. There's was it Sudan? Anyway, and and obviously um, Iraq. It was just the what impressed me about them was just how they just suddenly were running large parts of Iraq. And the footage you've seen, we've seen, even but more on the Vice News, of the towns and everything after they've liberated them. Well, I'd much rather live in those towns than the ones that we've seen after <laughs> the West, let's face it, have been. I mean, levelling cities. I don't understand. It's so weird. Like, suddenly the leader of Syria, Assad, was an evil dictator. Suddenly he was evil. When you looked at the pictures of Syria before this conflict, it looked beautiful. It looked gorgeous. Can't have been that bad. And even Saddam Hussein, who was placed in power by British, was doing a tough job keeping two sides together. And if they wanted to take him out, why didn't they do it in the first Gulf? It's like they gave him another chance. It's bizarre. I mean, complexity is certainly complex you see what I don't like about ISIS is they still have this thing about women you know definitely learnt that women are our equals of course You know, I'm I'm really enjoying getting to understand women's intellect more. Not that I think it's particularly any different from our own intellect as males. Um, but it is different. See, I like that about God's design. There seems to be a lot of um, half and half things. Half of you will be male and half of you will be female. Half of you get to experience an earth life. Half of you go straight into the spirit world. Reincarnation is possible according to A.J. Miller. But it's like on the 36th sphere when you and your soulmate come back and are completely as one. And in a sense you maybe have no need for the spirit body anymore. I don't know what happens to it. But at that point you can reincarnate. So these... Humans, people, who went straight into the spirit world, you know, maybe the miscarriage, abortion, IVF. I mean, I believe it's half and half. I may not be right. It just seems, I don't know. I think God has made things simple. Whatever I've learned when I've... This is all through the years when I've learnt something from God and I've known it's from God. 
because it it materializes into physical life. God shows you signs like that. You know. Basically everything we're sitting on is made out of atoms and everything and the whole universe is made with God's love and us. But our souls have unique personalities. So they are real. Everything else is made out of love. Amazing way to think. God is all loving. just a case of learning the rules and there are rules like we see that they can be mirrored in the universe gravity is a set thing and for us God loves us like the force of gravity in the universe God loves us But he understands that we need to learn things, just as we understand our children need to learn things. Often we teach them the wrong things. We can in fact learn more from our children. All we need to give them is the facts. Unfortunately we've been giving them the wrong facts. Everything's coming out now. And a lot of people think it's 2015 now. There's a lot of feeling about that. Maybe we'll prevent it again. <laughs> a lot of people thought it was going to be 2013. In the spring. <laughs> I'm sure I said I thought it was going to be 2014. <laughs> But it's not like, okay, no one will know the day or the hour or the year. But <laughs> it hasn't stopped the world getting weirder. <clears throat> no, not, I think I can't. I can't see Russia and America going at it. But this thing about Saudi Arabia. I mean, for ISIS to have done so well, surely someone was helping them. Or was it the Americans unwittingly gave them the weapons? See, these very clever countries making very stupid mistakes like the example I gave of the British in Afghanistan it has to be intentional or someone's design the powerful and could this be part of the population re reduction hmm hmm In all the countries where perhaps they can't get people to brush their teeth with toxic fluoride and make regular visits to the dentist and be poisoned if you manage to be unlucky enough to have a MRI scan <laughs> and they find something. And fucking up our health with loads of antibiotics although they're stopping that now but and the, the freaking MMR jabs that <coughs> makes the kids go a bit crazy so in countries where they can't do that they're just um Killing them. I 
Iran. See the whole that whole area confuses me. I do not know which side is which. The Iran seems like it's with Russia and China. But religiously, Iran is like the center of Shia Muslims. And there's a few Shias elsewhere, but mainly they're only in Iran. And all the other Muslims, the Sunni, all over the world, like the Middle East, Africa, Malaysia, Far East, <coughs> Pakistan, Afghanistan, Sunni. So that's the big majority. There's all these ISIS. It's all Sunni. So what I mean, you know, McDonald's. McDonald's are everywhere, aren't they? Coca-Cola, they're pretty much everywhere. I get the feeling that all this so-called conflicts, I know, Ukraine seems very real, but I'm not sure it's been majorly big on deaths, it's mainly been infrastructure. You know, maybe they wanted to wipe out these crappy concrete buildings, maybe that's a bonus for them. Um, new development, you know. Russia had the Sochi games and everything. And... But to get all their military in these areas, and they're in the Mediterranean, they get it's all close to Israel and. Yes. Something to do with that. Which makes me wonder if this is a, a holy war. And makes me wonder if you know which side is right. Because Say we lived in a country that was poor in comparison to other countries around, that far beyond us, and that better, easier lives. We sort of see glimpses of you know their life on films and stuff. Well, yeah, and and then they were like. Bum in your fucking country. <laughs> for, for what you consider to be no good reason. And lots of people end up dying and just shit. If shit life, your family members, some of them that get killed, friends. People you know, people you look up to. You're gonna be fucking pissed off. You're gonna hate them. And you can you see that. You see pictures of how much British and Americans are hated. Americans more, but from the past, the British. And, you know, the God thing, you know, it seems like America, people in America and Britain are, are really being stupid, in my opinion. 
Oh, they're falling for the, the bullshit. They're falling for the, for the propaganda, the bollocks. I'm not talking about the fucking Bible. I'm not talking about a book. And I'd even say to, you know, a Muslim, like, you know, it's a book. But when we feel God, we're all feeling the same God. So there's only one God, and the only way to learn from God is to, through feeling. Just remember, small beginnings, greater ends. The soul is powerful. So I'm going to obviously make efforts to spread love and every opportunity I get I will try my best to be loving. Even if someone's sticking a gun in my face. Because the soul is powerful. It has powerful effects on other souls. I won't I'm not I wouldn't be angry with someone for having a fucked up belief. their belief is probably kind of closer than than ours and we're fucking up this world with you know it's going to be fucked up with nuclear waste with the nuclear waste building up I'm prepared you know prepared that in 10,000 years it's going to be stable you can't, you can't take that from the future. And that's the other thing, you know, we've been taken from the future. Not looking after the future. So, why wouldn't a group like ISIS come about? And well, there's 12 of them around the world. You know, so I guess you could call me a sympathizer. But remember, this is my right to say what I think. Was it Je suis Charlie? You know, you should be allowed to prod. I'm not inciting violence. I've said myself, I'm not I do not intend to be violent towards anyone. I was thinking about like what about if someone is anti God? Like against God. Brr. But even then, you know, how does God deal with someone who's anti-God? Well, he just ignores them. So if God would ignore them, then that's probably what I should do. So I think that's, that's what I would. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take part in... Now, what about, and I did have a dream the other night, that... Suddenly we're being forced by gunpoint out of our homes, being put into camp, you know, camps under gunpoint, you know. Would would it be right to fight back? And in my dream, I think I did. <laughs> but that's something I'd said in my mind I'm not going to do. So maybe there would be an urge to do it and a pressure to do it from others. And perhaps if one person started, perhaps one person grabbed a gun off one of them, 
shot him and then I think I would automatically I think you know if well yeah I think I'll just go on instinct go my spiritual feelings I don't want to kill anyone Well, I think I've covered quite a lot of the things that was on my mind. Oh. How long have we been going? 56 minutes. I'm not going to do anything funny. It's not a joke. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> so yeah, let's watch the trickery. Don't assume that there's going to be war, but maybe assume they are trying to Lower the population. I th I don't know. Would God allow that? You know, is God allows free will. Is it part of God's plan? Well. Probably not waste too much time guessing when events are unfolding, dare I say it, week by week, day by day. Okay. I think I've said enough. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot light choosing my religion trying to keep an eye on you but I don't know if I can do it and although I've said too much I said enough that should always be I haven't said enough. <sighs> they were quite good, weren't they, Arian? I know one of their songs, sort of. <sighs> Is it in tune? Oh, I'm not going to sing that. Not this time of night. Okay. Bye. Bye and peace, brothers and sisters. Every single one of you is my brother and sister. And I am your brother. Soul. Soul brothers. Soul sisters. And that is like the most amazing of God's creations. And he loves all our souls. And it's our souls which are powerful. And it's our souls that need our help. <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, soul's his soul, isn't it? And you know this this similar sort of information is is coming out of all sorts of places. So uh, you know, God God has many ways. <laughs> <laughs>